welcome to EXO News TV. I'm Michael Sala. In March 2014, Captain K, whose real name is Randy Kramer, came forward to reveal that he had spent 17 years on Mars as part of a highly classified program called the Mars Defense Force. He then claims to have spent almost three years with a secret space fleet called the Earth Defense Force, where he flew anti-gravity vehicles throughout the solar system and was promoted to captain. In his most recent interview with EXO News TV, Kramer reveals that about a year ago he was contacted by his military superiors to disclose the truth about his covert service on Mars and time with the secret space fleet. Kramer revealed that a year ago he was contacted by two US Marine Corps Special Section officers whom he trained under during his initial training as a youth in a covert program called Operation Moonshadow. The first to contact him was a Colonel Jamison who then put him in touch with a Brigadier General Smythe. Kramer claims that they contacted him via an implant at the back of his skull where he could hear them through a means of electronic telepathy. The two officers confirmed important parts of Kramer's testimony concerning his 20-year tour of duty before being time and age regressed back to age 17. They also confirmed his military service with both the Mars Defense Force and the Secret Space Fleet. The two officers claimed that classified projects involving extraterrestrial technologies had been compromised and now were a national security threat. In his most recent interview, Kramer gave details about secret technologies he encountered during his 70 years service on Mars. Teleportation technologies were used to transport personnel and equipment to various locations. He also encountered small animals on the Mars surface. Most importantly, the Martian atmosphere is breathable for humans, suggesting that NASA claims that the atmosphere is 96% carbon dioxide with trace amounts of oxygen is a lie. Kramer's testimony is certainly controversial, so is he telling the truth? Regarding his most recent reservoir relations, electronic telepathy has been shown to be an operational form of communication used in classified programs. In Controlling the Human Mind, Dr. Nick Begich described electronic telepathy technologies and their covert use. It is possible for Captain Kramer's former superiors to contact him in this way. Regarding the existence of small animal life on the surface of Mars, a succession of NASA rover images have shown what appear to be rodents, lizards and birds on the Mars surface. Finally, other whistleblowers have come forward to claim that they have also travelled too or been invited to spend time on Martian bases. One of these is Laura Magdalene Eisenhower, the great-granddaughter of President Dwight Eisenhower. While confirmation of Kramer's testimony is still needed, his latest claims that two of his former military superiors have contacted him and authorised him to come forward is a significant development. If senior US military officials are authorising whistleblowers to come forward for national security reasons, the truth about classified space programs on Mars and elsewhere in our solar system may not remain secret for much longer.